Hi, this is a tutorial for how to integrate my moderation system, uh, which I created for my game TPRR, and uh, have released a version of publicly. This system includes uh, game-wide banning and unbanning, moderating and unmoderating. Uh, what's special about that is that um, you don't have to be in the same server as somebody that you're doing an action to for it to affect them instantly. So if somebody's causing trouble in another game and you're getting a report for that, all you have to do is just ban them from literally any server and it'll instantly ban them from the whole experience. Same thing applies to mods. Um, there's a no clip feature too, uh, which you know is just kind of a nice thing to have. And whenever you have an action uh, that's, that's done, like banning or unbanning, or actually even reporting if you wanted to integrate that, um, it is instantly put into a Discord channel. So that's something I'm going to teach you how to set up as well. Um, so firstly, we want to make sure we have this model in the workspace. There's a link to it uh, in the description. We also want to make sure that in our game settings, we have a published place. And in the game settings, in the security, you have HTTP requests on and enable studio access to API services. So as soon as we have all that, uh, we just want to make sure that HBM runner is in server script service so it can run. Um, that this GUI is in the starter GUI. Um, if you don't want this to be on your screen, you can just disable it like that. And then we want to set up our webhooks uh, for Discord integration. So in this hooks module, which is uh, separate for security reasons, um, we want to put in our links into uh, each of these things. So I have two methods for uh, accessing links in this moderation system. Uh, one of them uses Discord webhooks uh, links themselves, and another uses uh, links from a proxy service, and I'll show you how to use both of those. So to get the webhook links from Discord, you go into your Discord channel, you look at the channel that you want to edit, you go into your integrations. So um, in integrations, you view your webhooks. If you don't have a webhook here, you create a new one. I already have one, so I'm just going to use that. I'm going to copy that link, go into here, put that in there. And repeat the same thing with my report log. To get my proxy links, uh, I'm going to find a proxy service that I like. Uh, one of the ones that I've used before is called uh, Webhook Proxy. So we're just going to copy these links, put them in here, and it'll spit out a proxy link at the other side. So we're going to get both of those in there. Once we have that, we want to publish this as a package. Uh, and what I just did there, I right clicked on the module, I clicked convert to package. We want to make sure the owner is the same owner of whatever place that we're in. Uh, mine is just my own place, so the owner is me. I'm going to submit that. And now our webhooks are in. Next thing we want to do, we want to go into server script service, into HBM runner. Just follow where I'm going in here until you find config. Inside config, you're going to find this hook info. So this asset ID, we want to make sure it's the same as this package ID. That's so that our system can load this package at runtime. So we don't have these sensitive links just uh, sitting in our place forever. So I'm going to open up this package ID and I'm just going to type in what I see here. So once I got that in, I actually don't need any of this in here anymore because that ID will be used to literally just load it in whenever we start the game. While we're here, we want to make sure that we go into our owners and set the user ID to not me. Although, I mean, I wouldn't complain if you let me have moderator in your game. You just put it in there and it'll just work. So that's pretty much everything you need to get it set up. To confirm that it works, uh, we're going to load it up in here. You should see it behind your chat. It'll go away when you have the chat open, but just have it right there. Of course, you have your moderator and admin permissions. You can no clip, you can mod people, you can ban them. Um, I'm going to ban one of my coworkers because I'm feeling a bit mean. So we're going to look in our webhook channel and we'll see that it actually um, submitted the ban. If we unbanned, it would do the same. If we modded them, it would do the same thing there. 
So to give you a demo of what reporting looks like, um, I'm going to enable just a little thing down here. You don't need to do this yourself, but in case you're a little script savvy and you want to implement uh, reporting, all you'd need to do is have a client script that would call this global function uh, report player uh, with another player instance, and it'll just show up. So this little test code is just going to make it so I report myself, uh, and I just want to show you that I can, in fact, report, and it will, in fact, be reported to that channel. So we're just going to type in some nonsense report and it shows up there so that's pretty much everything about this system um, it's a little bare bones it's a little simple but it's pretty much everything you need it's very effective um, the discord integration makes it very easy to manage uh, because you can instantly add moderators game wide and instantly ban people um, it just it's just very a very effective solution for games that uh, rely on more than one place so yeah, I hope that was helpful.